In the last video, we learned some new commands we can use to modify our variables, and before that, some others to create new variables. Every time we have a new variable, though, it is very useful to have a label with a short description of that variable to help us and others understand what values that variable contains. For example, we created hireps 78 g but it has no label, so it's very hard to understand what the meaning of this variable is, what values it contains, and how is it different from hireps 78 e and very hireps 78 for example. So let's pick up from where we left off and see how we can label our datasets, variables, and the values of categorical variables using the command label. And this is what we're doing now in this extended do file, which is similar to the one we're using in the last video, but it has some additional commands. So everything from, the, from line 30 below is new. You can also download another do file, 6.6 .6 label, together with this class, and it's a little bit different from the last one, but it does explain how you can add values to your variables and labels. So back to your do file here. So what I want to do first is drop some variables. We have a lot of variables here. We don't want to use all of them. So I will only keep these variables listed here. Make, price, mpg, headroom, and foreign. Execute this command. And you see we have less variables right here. So I want to do some conversions and I'm going to use some commands I've just learned so that I can show you how to add labels. The first thing I want to do here is convert MPG, which is miles, miles per gallon, the mileage of a car, to kilometers per liter and the metric system. So we want to convert some variables to metric and then we're going to add labels. So I want to generate an integer, not a float. So I'm specifying the, uh, the variable type called kilometers per liter, KML, which is equal to MPG times 0 0.4251. So this is just a conversion index. Let's execute this, control D, and here we have our new variable, but it has no label. So how can you add a label to a variable? Well, just type the command label, then variable, the name of the variable that you have and the name of the label you want to add. So here we have mileage, MPG, and I'm going to say this is going to be a kilometer per liter. So select everything, and you'll see here on the right-hand side, we will have a new label right now. There we go. So every time you want to label a variable, you have to use the command label, then you have to use variable or var, and we can see that in the help file pretty soon. So you can say var kml the name of the variable and the label so once i have created this i just want to drop mpg because i no longer need it execute this and you see mpg is going to disappear from here and now i want to move kml to where mpg was which was right after price so i can use the command order the name of the variable a comma and say after which variable i want it to be located so kml is going to move here between price and headroom. There we go. Now I want to change my headroom values, which are in inches, as you can see here, headroom in inches to centimeters. And to do that, I'm not going to recreate a new variable. I'm going to replace the values in headroom by new values, which are the same values it has in inches and multiply by 2.54 because every inch has 2.54 centimeters. So I'm just doing a conversion. So right here, I converted kilometers, sorry, miles per gallon to kilometers per liter. And now I'm just converting inches to centimeters. But I don't have to create a new variable because I'm just replacing, like we learned, the values in headroom from inches to centimeters. So I can do this here. And you won't see it. But here, in the results window, we have that 74 real changes were made because we have 74 observations. If we want, we can browse headroom and we'll see all these values now are in centimeters. Let's close this and go back to our do file. So now I want to label this new variable headroom. 
in centimeters because we still have our old label, headroom in inches, which is wrong. So I can add a label to a variable that did not have a, a label previously, like kilometer per liter, and I can also substitute an existing label. And this is what I'm gonna do here. So note that when I execute this command, the label here on the right hand side for headroom is going to change from inches to centimeters. And here we are, we have centimeters now. And now I want to rename the variable foreign and change its labels. So let's see how foreign is currently. Ros. Okay, on foreign now we have zero, the label domestic for zero, for value zero, and for value one we have the label foreign. So I want to change that. You can also use the command label to change labels in, let me close this. Okay, so you can also use the command label to change labels in categorical variables like foreign. So I want to rename, which is a command we used before, the value foreign, sorry, the variable foreign to imported. So I think it's clear if the name of the variable is imported and not foreign. So let's execute this. You see here on the right hand side, we have a new name. And now I want to change these labels that we have from domestic to foreign. And I want to change those labels to national and imported. So domestic is now going to be national and foreign is going to be imported. So to do that, I have to follow two steps. The first step is I have to define a new label and the name of this label is import and then define the values of this label and the respective labels. So one, zero for national, one for imported. So when you do this, nothing's going to happen. You won't really see anything. This is all happening in the backstage. So we have renamed, now let's execute this. So we have created a new label called import. And now we have to assign this label that we created, which includes these values here and their respective labels to our variable. And we can do that by using the command label, values, and then the name of the variable that we want to change. So the name of the new variable is imported. And here is the name of the label we want to assign to it. So when I do this, what's gonna happen is that every label named domestic is going to be now national and every label named foreign is going to be now imported. So let's do this, execute it. You can't see anything here, but if we browse the command imported, sorry, the variable imported, here we have. So every zero is now national, no longer domestic, and every imported one is imported and no longer foreign. So you may be a little bit confused by that last part. Let's type help label to see a little bit of this. So what we did here first was to label a variable, very simple, very easy. Then define a value label. So remember, before you assign a value label to a certain variable like we did, you need to define that value label first. And only after you define it can you assign it. And here it is how you should do it. Note that you still have the syntax for other options, but these ones I've shown you are certainly the most relevant and the ones you're going to use the most. If you're still in doubt, I do recommend you jump to examples here and you take a look at the examples provided so that you can better understand this. 